Okay, so now for the legs, we'll start uh, by doing six single crochets into the magic ring in the first row. I already did that. So now in the second row, we are going to increase every stitch around for a total of 12 stitches. So you'll increase and increase in the next stitch. And increase and increase in all the remaining stitches okay so now in the third row we are going to do single crochet then increase and repeat all the way around for a total of 18 stitches so we'll do single crochet and then increase and repeat single crochet increase and repeat that all the way round okay so after that now in the next two rows which is row four and row five we are going to do single crochets all the way round in each row for a total of 18 stitches in each row so I'll see when you're done in the fifth row so that we do the sixth row together. Okay, so after that now in the sixth row, we are going to do single crochet, then decrease and repeat all the way around for a total of uh, 12 stitches. So we'll do single crochet, then decrease and repeat single crochet and decrease and repeat that all the way round okay so now in the seventh row we are going to do two single crochets then decrease and repeat all the way round for a total of nine stitches so we'll do single crochet one two and then decrease and repeat that two more times two single crochets and decrease and two single crochets and decrease okay so now, after that, now for the next three rows, which is from row 8 until row 10, which is the last row, you're going to do single crochets all the way around in each row for a total of 9 stitches in each row. Okay, so you'll have something that looks like this. So these are the three, uh, three rows, which are 9 single crochets each. When you get to the end, you're just going to cut off the yarn long enough for sewing and then stuff the bottom part, okay? And then after that, we are going to make the arms. Okay, so now for the arms, we are going to start with the magic ring and then we'll do six single crochets into the magic ring. So one, two, three four five and six okay and then i'll pull my yarn to close the gap okay so now in the second row i'm going to do single crochet then increase and repeat two more times for a total of nine stitches so I'll do single crochet, then increase, and repeat single crochet, increase, then one more time, single crochet, and then increase
okay so now after we are done with that now for the next three rows which is from row three until row five we are going to do single crochets all the way around in each row for a total of nine single crochets in each row so i'll see you when you're done with the fifth row so that we do the sixth row together okay so after the fifth row this is how it looks like so now in the sixth row we are going to do single crochet then decrease and repeat two times for a total of six stitches so we're going to do single crochet and then decrease and we are going to repeat that two more times so single crochet decrease and then single crochet again and decrease okay and then now for the next three rounds which is from row seven until row nine we are going to do single crochets all the way around in each row for a total of six single crochet and also before you continue make sure you stuff the bottom part and then finish up to the ninth row okay so after we are done with the ninth row i'm just going to remove my marker and then slip stitch and cut off the yarn long enough for sewing okay so after that we're going to make the tail okay so for the tail we are going to start with the magic ring and then four single crochet into the magic ring so one two three and four then i'm going to pull my marker i'm going to pull my yarn and place my marker over here okay now in the second row we are going to do single crochet then increase and we'll repeat that one time for a total of six stitches so we'll do single crochet and then increase in the next stitch and repeat one time so single crochet and increase okay so now in the third row we are going to do two single crochets then increase and repeat one more time for a total of eight stitches so we'll do two single crochets then increase And then you're going to repeat that one more time so two single crochets then increase okay so now in the fourth row we are going to do three single crochets then increase and repeat one more time for a total of 10 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two three and then increase Okay, and then you're going to repeat that one more time okay so now in our fifth row we are going to do four single crochets then increase and repeat one more time for a total of 12 stitches so do single crochet one two three four and increase and then you're going to repeat that one more time okay so now in the sixth row we are going to do single crochets all the way around for a total of 12 stitches so
so we'll continue and do single crochet single crochet single crochet all the way until you get to the end okay so now in the seventh row we are going to do five single crochets then increase and repeat that one more time for a total of 14 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two three four five and then increase and then we are going to repeat that one more time okay so now in the eighth row we are going to do six single crochet then increase and repeat that one more time for a total of 16 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two three four five six and then increase and then repeat that one more time okay so now in the ninth row which is the last row of the tail we are going to do seven single crochet then increase and repeat one more time for a total of 18 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two three four five six seven and then increase and then you're going to repeat that one more time Okay, so after we get to the end of the uh, ninth row, I'm going to remove my marker, then slip stitch, and cut off the yarn long enough for sewing. Okay, so after that, you're going to fill it up, and then we'll join all the parts together, and then after joining, we'll make the spikes. Okay, so after joining all the parts together, this is how uh, our dinosaur looks like. So first you join uh, the tummy part with the neck. So starting from the top part of the body, like this, you just join it to the front. And then after that, I attached my head. So my head I attach in the first, second, third. From the fourth row, that's where you attach uh, with the body. As you can see and then after that I attached my arm and uh, leg straight to each other so for the leg you count from the bottom one two three four so in the fourth row from the bottom that's where you attach the leg and then uh, for the arm you count from the leg one two three four and in the fifth row from the leg that's where you attach the arm or directly below the head and also on this other side and then after that i attach the little tail at the back so for the tail you count one two three on the third row from the bottom that's where you attach the tail like that as you can see okay and then i embroidered the little eyes over here so in the one two three four five six Starting from the sixth row, uh, from the mouth, that's where you attach, uh, you embroider the eyes, or if you have the doll eyes, you can attach them over there. Okay, so now we are going to make the little spikes over here. So you can see I've drawn a line right in the middle. So what I did is I counted from the mouth, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and here starting from the seventh row uh from the mouth i drew a line right in the middle all the way until the tail the last part over here and now to make the spikes i'm going to use a smaller crochet hook 
so this is 2.75 millimeters and I'm going to attach my yarn here from where uh, I drew the line on top of the head Okay, and then I'm going to attach my yarn over here. And then after I attach my on my yarn, I'm just going to do a chain three. So one, two, three, like that. And then I'm going to go into the next stitch over here, like that. And then do a single crochet. Okay, and then again I'll do a chain three so chain one two three and then go into the next row over here where I drew my line and then do single crochet and then I'll continue like that so chain three and single crochet Okay, and I'll continue following my line all the way doing a chain three and single crochet all the way until I get here at the end of the tail okay so guys after you get to the end of the tail I'm just going to slip stitch over here and then cut off the yarn Okay, and then I'm going to finish it off. I'm just going to pull the yarn. And then cut it off like that. Okay, and then here on top also I'm going to finish off where I started. just going to pull my yarn through and cut it off okay so now guys that is it this is how our dinosaur looks like as you can see so cute so if you have any questions you can ask in the comments below and please check out my other videos until next time bye